Welcome to Mr. V Teaching Math. In this session, I'm going to be talking about how to use a protractor properly. There's one key thing that confuses so many students. There are two sets of numbers. That so this device can be used for any direction. The problem is students constantly get confused about which set of numbers to use. And the set of numbers to use changes based on how you place it. So let's go over how to place it. The first and most important thing is this point here. This point here needs to go on the vertex on, of the angle here, as accurately as you possibly can. The second thing is you must line up one of the bottom edges, whether it's this bottom edge or that bottom edge doesn't matter, but one of the bottom edges must be lined up with either arm, whichever one you want. Allow me to demonstrate. center point here, I've chosen to line up this line. Now this tells me which set of numbers to use. Wherever you line up this bottom edge to one of the arms of the angle, that is zero. So look here, there's my zero. Since the zero is on the inside set of numbers, that means I'm going to use the inside set of numbers to measure this. And if I'm very careful and thorough here, I get to 30, I look over here, I'm looking at 36 Point five degrees. What's the second set of numbers for? Well, what if I lined it up the other way and I decided to use this side? That will look like this. Again, lined up as carefully as I can here with the bottom line lined up. This is the side that's lined up. That becomes zero. You'll notice now I'm using the outside set of numbers. I then go along to the outside and you'll notice that I end up at, this time, 36 degrees. Now that's easily possible to be off by a, a one or two degrees simply because of exactly where you lined it up. When I am evaluating this in my class, I allow a up to two degree variation, either above or below what I believe the answer to be, in order to account for the fact that sometimes there's a little bit of variation in exactly how this is lined up. And that is how to use a protractor correctly.